Hello algebra students, let's go ahead and take a look at what looks like a simple example, but has a few things that would confuse a lot of students. So first thing I want to look at here is the directions. It says solve. Now solve is a word you guys often misunderstand. You think it just means find the answer, not what it means, okay? So if I tell you to solve in a case like this, I'm, I'm telling you to solve the mystery. And the mystery here is the letter A. We don't know what A, this variable, is equal to. Remember that mathematicians use letters to stand in for unknown numbers or mystery numbers or numbers that can change. So in this case, if I ask you to solve, I'm asking you to find out what A equals or what is A. Now I know here not what A is. This equation says something, guys. It doesn't tell us what A is, though. It tells us, remember that an equal sign is like is, it tells us what A plus 54 is. 32 is the same. It is A plus 54. So our goal, then, is just to figure out what A is. And in math, we write A is by saying A equals or something equals A, same difference. And so that's what we're looking to do. We're looking out to figure out what A is. And the way to do that is to isolate A, get A alone. Once A is alone, I'll know what he is equal to. Okay, that is easy to say, but is it hard to do? How can I get A alone? Like, <laughs> what is the way that we would do that? Well, let's go ahead and let me clear this. That leads us to the first mistake most of you guys make. Um, we autopilot a lot, and let's pull out a red so we know this is a mistake. A lot of students will go, hey, negative 32. I'm going to subtract 32. You guys are so into going left to right. Remember, our goal is not to memorize steps or go in a certain order. Our goal here is to get A alone. And that means that you're going to need to get rid of whatever number is with a on the same side of the equation with a so if you're a newbie or you struggle with algebra i highly suggest you just kind of draw this line through the equal sign that'll help you to see the left hand side and the right hand side and we can see over there on the right hand side that's where a is at and he's not alone there are there is a number hanging out that's doing something it's performing an operation with a Okay, so now you might say, well, it says plus 54. Shouldn't I plus 54, Kate? And I would say, well, yeah, you could if you knew what A was. But we don't know what A is. That's the point of this problem. We're trying to figure out what A is. So I can't do A plus 54, okay? So what I want to do rather than doing this math is undoing this math. I want to get rid of plus 54. Well, how do you get rid of math? You do the opposite. Okay, so I'm going to do the opposite of the operation, the thing this number is doing. The opposite of the operation, addition, is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract. Now you might say, well, what are you going to subtract? I'm going to subtract the exact same number. Because if I add 54 to something, but then I subtract it back away, I haven't really done anything to that number. It's going to cancel out. Now remember, you say, can I do this? Can I just like do what I want instead of what it told me to do. I mean, the problem says add, can I subtract? And I say, yes, if you have an equation. Because remember, all you're caring about is equality. As long as you keep the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side, you're golden. And how do we do that? By doing the exact same thing. I'll do the same operation, write it down. And the same number, write it down. Develop good habits now when the problems are simple so you don't get lost in the grammar when the problems are hard. Okay. And now, now that I have this balance change here, I can go ahead and see what my new equation will be. Now, a lot of you guys are already freaking out because you're like, 32 minus 54, and you're making all kinds of errors there. Remember, anytime you're solving equations on the GED, you get a calculator. So please use your calculator for this. Let's just avoid a really common error that students make, because if I do 32 minus 54, and don't flip the order because it makes you more comfortable, guys. 
32 minus 54 is different than 54 minus 32. But 32 minus 54 is negative 22. And you say, oh my gosh, Kate, I don't know how to do negatives. And I say, honestly, for the sake of this video, for the sake of the algebra unit, I would rather focus on algebra day after day after day than focus on negatives just because I'm looking for your score boost. Okay, this is my first priority that I know how to do algebra. Your calculator can handle the negatives. So we get negative 22 on the left hand side of my equation. Now remember what I said, I said we're obsessed with equality. Another common error that you guys have, you do not drop down your equal sign. I wanna see your equal sign. We're gonna have an equivalent equation because I made the same change on the left and the right hand side. And then now on the right hand side, you go, well, what do I write? Remember in algebra, when you're lost, you look up. So let's look at this old right hand side and the change I made to it, okay? We said that adding 54 and subtracting 54 are opposites, so they'll cancel. That little part of the math is done, but that's not the only thing that was up there. There was this A, and so A, now that I got rid of the plus 54, I undid it, is alone. Now a lot of you guys wanna you know, change the order right here. You don't like that A's on the right and negative 22 is on the left. You can if you want to, but I like to leave it just right here because I really like that idea of when you don't know where something came from in math, you can just look straight up. I know where negative 22 came from. It came from doing this math I said I would do. I said I would do 32 minus 54. And I know where A came from. It came from doing this math I said I would do. I said I would take 54 away from A plus 54. And so this is a perfectly legit way to write this, you know. But if you'd like, if it doesn't please you, you can always flip the order when it's just an equal sign. If negative 22 is A, then A is negative 22. Okay, um, and either one is a correct answer. Either one is great. This one's more normal, but if you're struggling in math, that's probably the way you want to leave it for now until you get used to this idea of things dropping down from above. Ooh, okay. Did I make an easy thing hard? I sure hope not. But if I did, ask your question in the comments. Let's get this worked out because you need this base skill to get to a GED level.